Okay, so I'm apparently live. Um, okay, so let's just see if this works or not. I'm not sure if it's working, but we'll, we'll see. So, I decided to do a few live streams, a few videos, just to see... Uh, how things would work out. And the first thing I thought I'd look at is my recent spirits purchases over the last few months. So what I'll do is I'll come away from me and I'll focus on um, what I've got and go through them all with you. So these are uh, auction purchases. I'd fallen out of love with auctions um, for a, a couple of years. I bought a bottle of JMB. Um, 15 year old and when I got it it was quite clear that the uh, seal had been tampered with and the cork had burst I'm pretty sure it was still the actual spirit inside it but it, it, it was a real letdown that something like that had passed um, a, a, a test you know a quality test um, so I, I stopped buying it I bought two fakes as well I got a white horse which I'm pretty sure was fake Johnny Walker Black Label, which is absolutely fake because it wasn't whiskey that was inside it. Um, I think it was vodka that had been uh, dyed with tea or something. So I hadn't bought any for a while, but decided to jump back on the horse. And I bought three recently. So this is a bottle of Black Bush from the late 80s or 90s. Um, it's been, I've opened it, I've had couple of drams out of it, left it, went back to it the other day and it has started to open out. Old bottles can be quite dead. Um, a little bit dull if they've just sat in the bottle for years. So I think it's quite important to uh, to open them up and give them a bit of air and see how they're going. But if the label's still really dark like that, um, that tends to mean that it's been in a cupboard rather than it's been in a windowsill. So it, it should still be okay. Um, and the seal was all right and the cap was okay. And I've had a few Irish whiskies recently and I've not been massively impressed with quite a lot of the newer, younger ones. So I thought I'd give this one a try and it is, it is pretty good and I think it will get better uh, over time. This next one, I uh, only paid £30 for this, which is less than its retail price. So box whiskies are now called high coast whiskies. I don't know if you can see that up there. I'll try and sort of zoom in. A little bit um, and they were forced to change their name by compass box so they're now called high coast and they're a Swedish company and every other Swedish whiskey I've tried has been really really nice so I thought this would be pretty good as well um, but we'll see I've not opened it yet but I will do uh, over the next few months I've got about 20 uh, things I need to review and then I'll come back to it this here is the original Glenfiddich Distillers. I paid 35 for this. 15 year old, 51%, non-chill filtered. This is pretty much as close to having a, a raw example of Glenfiddich as you're, you're ever going to try and get hold of. They re-released the uh, Distillers Edition. I've not tried that one yet. I've had this. This is brilliant. This is well worth it. Saw this at auction, picked this up. It's legit because it's not really something I think anyone would try and um, copy. So, yeah, really happy with that. Moving on to my holiday in uh, Spain. So I'll come out a little bit and try and get them in that picture. I'm going to try and I'll change the format of that because that's widescreen. But, um, so the first one is, in fact, I'll look at this one first. So this is Torres 10-year-old in something else. Um, I decanted that into a plastic bottle just to bring it home uh, just because of weight restrictions and luggage so I brought this back in a plastic bottle put it into this Torres 10 it's about 10 euros for a bottle 70 so bottle and it's all right I won't buy it again but it was okay this though is the Torres 15 and this is absolutely superb um, 
There are reviews for some of these online um, I've done and others I will get around to. This is excellent. Now this in, this here is about £50 for a litre of this. In Spain it's about £25 for a litre of this. This is a litre bottle. Um, this is absolutely brilliant um, for the money in Spain. Even here it's not bad value. Um, this one here is Cardinal uh, Mendoza, another Solero Grand Reserve, uh, Branded de Jerez. This is, as you can see, this has had, um, uh, this has been shared out and I've had a few myself. And it's really, really, really good. Um, again, it's one of those things, it's 20 pounds in Spain or 21 euros but it's 45 pounds if you can get it over here which is it's just a bit much um, although i think worth it just about um this is the final bottle i got which is in the fancy box and the silly bottle with a sort of ceramic or stone uh, topper so this is osborne so if you're in spain and you see um big black bull um sculptures kicking about the place that is actually advertising Osborne uh, brandy and cherry um, another brandy de Jerez another uh, Solero Grand Reserve this is unusual in the fact that this is bottled at 40.5% uh, a lot of brandies are bottled at 37 uh, or 38 this, this is a 40% uh, the Tory is 15 is I'm pretty sure it's not the original bottle that's inside it because I decanted that as well but I'm pretty sure that that was 40% um, as well I should say I'd have to like I say it's not the I, I decanted that as well but I brought the box home um, but that's slightly stronger and I don't I, this is excellent I'm going to review this really soon but this is one of the best things I've ever tried. But this was 50 something euro. I think it was 53, 54 euro. So this was very, very expensive. And it's about 75, 80 pounds here. And that's probably too much. Um, but it is very, very good. So, and it's, it's, it's slightly different. It's a more gentle approach. So anyway, I'll review this soon and I'll, I'll, I'll try and explain what I mean. Um, a couple of miniatures. So I bought two of these when I was there. I reviewed one for Malt Review. Mark let me review for him. Um, beautiful little bottle. The big main grand bottle of this was sort of huge, big, massive thing, a big tube. Um, this was bottled. This is disappointing because this is one of their real prestige spirits. And this is bottled at... Uh, under 40% and I think that when you're looking at this is about 80 between 80 and 130 euros it's a really weird pricing structure they have for this um, it's really nice but it's not there's far too much style of a substance it's, exact, it's the same as this to a degree but this is even more expensive when you put this against this this is really really good and it's really good value for money this is just expensive sort for the sake of it I did buy one whiskey when I was in Spain and it was the Macallan Amber um, I bought that purely because I wasn't going to get any whiskies at all but it was 42 euros so about 40 pounds and it retails here for 60 and on top of that it's been discontinued what I want to do with this is actually sell it or swap it and I want to get a Macallan 12 year old, which is cheaper than the normal UK retail price for this. Um, but I'd rather have a, an age statement one, which I'm going to put away for my sort of future collections because I do believe in about 10, maybe 15 years, I think whiskey is going to become almost unaffordable. Normal whiskey or decent whiskey will become almost unaffordable um, if prices continue at even near to the rate that they're going just now um so i bought that and i doubt i'll open it 
In fact, I won't open this. I'll swap it for something else, and I'll maybe enjoy that uh, in the future. It's a retirement whiskey. Moving on to these two. This was in uh, Morrison's. The Morrison's have now stopped selling the 12-year-old. They sold this for twelve, uh, twenty pounds a bottle. So I bought a few bottles of this and just put them away. And it's not for reselling or flipping or anything like that. It's just I think it's probably the best core twelve-year-old bottle that exists. I don't think there's much better going around. It's bottled at um, forty. I don't know if you can see that forty-six point three percent, and it is natural color unchill filtered which for a standard 12 year old is pretty rare and it's brilliant but now it's only sold in uh, waitrose and i think i don't know if that's because they just don't have the stocks of age spirit anymore um or whatever they've moved on to I, I don't know but i took the punt because it's really good and this is the sort of thing i'd be really sad to see go if that ever Disappear or if it became more exclusive if you saw that I could see the price of this this is already cheap at About 35 36 pounds a bottle This could easily sell at 45 and people would still buy it and still think it was a good deal This is just the um, 50 sil bottle of Artist blend the only reason why it's on uh, This shelf at the moment is because I have just bought it it was uh, reduced the clear remarks and Spencer. It was showing at £22, but it scanned at 16 Had I, um, and it's a really solid blend, and had I, uh, if there had been any more than one bottle, I would have bought them all. Uh, there was a Glen Scotia as well that was reduced to clear, and that was showing at £23 as well. So if that had scanned at 16 I'd have been delighted. But there was none left. Someone had apparently bought um, all of them. So he knew what he was buying. Um, moving on, so that's, so just going back briefly, these are the auctions, these were my holiday finds. Supermarkets, I really don't shop in supermarkets much anymore. Pick up the old bottle of Grant Smokey or Glenfiddich 12 or a Glenfiddich 15 if you ever see it, or 5 or off. But really out with that, I tend to buy uh, either when I'm in Spain or online. Uh, or I go to uh, Good Spirits in town. If you're in Glasgow, Good Spirits is a total whiskey destination place. And here we have a few things from there. Jago rum. So this is an Orkney rum. Chestnut cask. It is bottled at a reasonably high 43%. And it is... There's no added sugar to this as well. Um, so it, it's... A really good pot still rum. It, I think it's the best thing I've tried this year. This is in the top three of all spirits I've tried this year. So it's really, really worth trying out. This is an experimental batch. Uh, gin micro batch. If you want to have a look at their website, if you go to Little Brown Dog, um, or littlebrowndogspirits.com, uh, you can read more about what they're doing. Uh, this is an interesting bottle, uh, Douglas Lang's Providence range, it's space size, it's a Craigellachie and it is 8 years old. From one single cask it is all the usual gubbings of, uh, un I don't know if that will come up, but unchill filtered, um, natural colouring, things like that. One of only 324 bottles and the reason why I have bought this is because it was distilled in 2011 and it was bottled in 2019, making it eight years old. And I've now got a uh, five, six, seven, and now this eight year old, all distilled in 2011. And I'm gonna do this right up until my daughter who was um, born in 2011. Um, when she turns 18, I'll have that nice little range of whiskies and we'll perhaps be able to try them together or uh, if she's not interested, I'll maybe keep some for myself or sell them. It, it just depends on how whiskey prices are going. And the final one for this uh, live stream is this. Um, I wanted to get into a new distillery. This is Royal Brackler. It's an 11 year old, 27, 2007. Um, from Signatory Vintage. I've never had a bad bottle yet from them. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Now, 
natural color. Doesn't say if it's unchill filtered, so I can't really tell. Um, it, oh, it all looks very nice. Um, and this was under forty pounds. So the standard is the twelve year old, which is forty percent, and is more expensive than this. And I've not heard great things from it. I've heard that with Royal Brackler, you really want to be looking at um, independent bottles. So I, I've got I've gone for this, and this I've got like I said I've got a lot to review until October uh, time. So that I'll open this in November, and I think I'll probably. Um, my little girl will have a birthday party in November and so I'll open it for when people are over for that and let people try this. So so that's it. So these are the bottles which I've bought um, since June, end of June. Um, so a couple of months worth of purchases. There was one other bottle of whiskey which I've broken the bottle off. Um, but yeah, this is it. So this was me attempting a live stream. I'm not entirely sure if this has worked. So if it's not, this has been a complete and utter waste of time. But yeah, thanks for watching, if it worked.